The operator of the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says nuclear fuel may have melted down at the number two and number three reactors within days of the March 11th earthquake. But Tokyo Electric Power Company says both reactors are now stable with temperatures relatively low. brings me to my final question. Who are we trying to sell this to? Answer, we are trying to sell this to the archetypal average housewife. She who fills her basket. On the basis of this assumption, it says most of the fuel would have melted down and reached the bottom of the reactor by 8 p.m. on March 15th. They're incurable, all of them. I know that and so does everybody else. Until they get one, then the rules suddenly change. With a boil on the nose, there's a sudden overnight surge in faith. They want to believe something will work. That's about 101 hours after the earthquake. At the number three reactor, TEPCO says water levels began to plunge on March 13th. Again, if it's assumed that insufficient water was injected, the utility says the reactor fuel could have reached a state of meltdown at around 3 a.m. on March 14th. That's about 60 hours after the earthquake. However, TEPCO says that if the water gauges inside the two reactors were accurate, their readings show that there would have been a sufficient levels of water in the pressure vessels. If this turns out to be true, the company says most of the nuclear fuel rods would be intact with limited damage. Hello to all, uh, we are the 24 May 2011. It is uh, 11 a.m. in Japan. One hour ago, they announced that reactor number two and reactor number three have melted down also. Not a big surprise for, for everybody, I think. Now they confirm meltdown of reactor number two and three. They said that uh, the meltdown at the unit 2 started uh, 100 hours after <coughs> the explosions and uh, number 3 start 60 hours after the explosions. So it starts just two days after the, the explosion at the power plant. A lot of us uh, and a lot of scientists said it the first week and so they confirm it today two months after you are gonna probably read it in a few hours you know it just went out uh, here in japan so in few hours you're, you are gonna have it uh, officially in your news so uh, in fact uh, now uh, we can see that when a uh, fuel reactor start to melt there is no uh, partial meltdown uh, you, you really uh, have to be extremely lucky to have just a partial meltdown who is gonna stop to melt down uh, when you are pouring water over the top and the fact show that uh, when it start to melt it goes fully so as I said on my, in my last video, the situation at the power plant is totally hopeless. Whatever uh, they, they will do later, you know, they can, uh, they, they are still talking about re reinforcing the, the pool at tractor number four, you know, building a tower, a, a wall, a extra building. Uh, they are still talking about doing that. They're talking about uh, exchanging, uh, it in reactor number two, uh, continuing to send water. Uh, you know, uh, I understand that they have to continue to work there, but uh, I don't really understand uh, where um, this operation will lead. As I said, uh, to me, the situation is totally hopeless. But, you know, don't get me wrong, I understand that sometimes, you know, from videos, it's difficult to understand 
exactly the, the meaning of everything that people say, everything that I say, especially that I make long videos. So I say many things, sometimes maybe some particular things are, you know, misunderstood. But I don't think the situation is hopeless for all Japan and Japanese. That's not what I say. I said the situation at Fukushima Daiichi is hopeless. I just mean they will not be able to handle it. Now we have three meltdown and four reactor damage, three meltdown. So, so it's for sure now an extremely bad nuclear disaster because three meltdown. There is no way this is a small scale level seven. In fact, this is three level seven right now. And level seven is just uh, about, uh, uh, you know, the, the release of uh, radiation. When the power plant uh, release uh, radiation in uh, the atmosphere, you know, a large amount, then they call it a level seven. So you see the bullshit of this level. I'm not sure that a melting, a full meltdown is included in a level seven because they, they don't, uh, they don't talk about meltdown, the nuclear industry. For them, meltdown doesn't exist. It should never happen. So uh, it's not on the scale. We have three reactors. <coughs> so three level seven so far, it will make a level 21. And we wait, we are waiting for the last reactor. But even if we save, if we save a way to, to speak, but let's say even if the last reactor not, doesn't melt down, would, would it make anybody happy? Would it make feel anybody uh, successful? I don't think so. You know, three melt down. Hey, how can it be worse? This is, you know, the, 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 the simple questions that I ask to myself. How could it be worse since they announced that the meltdown is the worst case scenario? Reactor number three contains the MOX fuel produced by Areva. The MOX fuel full of plutonium is the reactor number three. This one also meltdown. So we now you know we, we cannot even uh, relay on the luck that the plutonium is in the pool and so maybe it will stay there no the reactor number 3 is full of plutonium the fuel rods are plutonium based rod produced by Areva as far as we know so the three of them melt down. Honestly, I don't want to predict anything for the future now because, well, uh, you can't now say something regarding the future and the consequences, the, the future consequences of this three melt down. I mean, you cannot uh, 